Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here today i'll be testing emulators like Xenia, RPCS3, Yuzu, Ruijinx, Zemu and much more on my android device with the help of Winlater. One great compatibility feature which i noticed regarding Winlater recently is that it even works on my android 13 oneplus 11 which has adreno 7 series gpu. I had tried to run box64 droid many times on my oneplus 11 but it never ran due to uh, it having adreno 7 series gpu i was used to getting black screen but finally i can do some high level emulation test and let me know in the comment section down below which game should i test next should i test gta 5 gta 4 with that being said if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel let's get started all right guys let's get started we'll be opening win later and we have already customized our container in my last video where i showed you guys how to set up the win later emulator and also its best settings so we'll start up our container one by the way let me just go ahead and tap on edit and show you guys that uh, you can also edit a pre-configured uh, content. I'll be setting the GPU as GTX 1070. Alright, afterwards I'll tap on the tick mark option. As many emulator have some higher minimum requirements, we'll just go ahead and click on run. And let's find out if the PC emulators can be ran on Winlater. First of all, I'll press back and make sure to enable full screen. Let's open the D directory and I have created a separate folder where I stored all my emulators. There we have the emulators folder. Let me open. And there we go. I have all the emulator folders like RPCS3, CMU, Ryujinx. But I'll be starting off with RPCS3 which is an PlayStation 3 emulator. Later, I'll be very interested to see if it actually works on win later and if it does then that would be very very special but I am tapping on it it's not really opening for some reason let me try something else let me try to manually open and see if it works nope so RPCS3 does not work on win later Android let's move on now as you know user emulator Android needs VC radius that's why I have added it so let's start off with CMU. The 1.26.2 is the latest version of CMU. I'll be just going and launching this emulator. Afterwards, we'll need to choose custom MK01 path, which is optional. So I'll be skipping it. We also have to choose the game path and sometimes the emulator might freeze, which is very unfortunate. And as you can see right here, it just crashed. So we'll be restarting the emulator. In my past video, I have already shown you guys that CMU does work on the box 64 droids and it will also work on win later but as i'm using a different device i won't be able to show you guys the cmu gameplay but cmu 100% works and as you can see all the features are functional completely functional we can go to options set full screen change settings also uh, add input methods along with that control the game using the touch controls already provided in win later but it might have some crashing issues none of these emulators are stable but cmu does work it is also capable of booting some games as we have seen previously with box 64 droid emulator test let's close cmu and try out ryujinx emulator ryujinx emulator hasn't been officially launched for android devices so i am hoping that this works i have never really tested out ryujinx emulator previously so let's just go ahead and tap on open and see if this emulator works or not okay there was nothing there was just a black screen let me try opening it again all right i'm guessing that ryujinx emulator doesn't really work on win later so we'll be heading back as we'll need microsoft visual c plus plus for Yuzu emulator. The setup is successful so let me close and try out Ryujinx emulator once again. If it works then that's going to be really great. But nope, yeah it just crashed. So let's head on over back to emulators and now we'll try out Zemu win release. Now Zemu emulator as you know is 100% playable on a box 64 droid so it will be very interesting to see if this emulator works on win later it's taking a lot of time to open so i hope it works and now i want to try out zemu but unfortunately it's just not booting up so from all these things we are finding out that win later is not really reliable in terms of running uh, pc emulators on android it was only able to run cmu zemu should definitely work as it also runs on box 64 droid with the same wine version but unfortunately Zemu is not booting on win later and Xenia is the xbox 360 emulator for pc let's try opening this and see if at least this works your cpu does not support avx which is required by Xenia see the fact for system requirements okay so we have an error message i think this error message can be fixed i might be wrong but i am guessing if we change some of the settings of win later this error may not pop up i'll have to find a solution for it so be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification because once i do get the solution i'll make sure to upload 
an updated video on Xenia Android Win Later gameplay. But right here is the UZ Emulator Android latest build few hours ago. This build was released, so let's just go ahead and open it and see if it works or not. I have already set up Microsoft Visual C++, but unfortunately, UZ Emulator is being detected, but it's not opening. In Box64 Droid, it has some issues with detecting uh, emulators. For example, Xenia emulator just doesn't get detected on Box64 Droid. In WinLater, none of these emulators are even opening, which is very, very unfortunate. And nope. Okay, something popped up. I think it was Yuzu Room. So, normal Yuzu emulator does not really work. And to be completely honest, emulating Yuzu on uh, WinLater is literally nonsense because we already have user emulator for android so in comparison to box 64 droid i have to give win later a pass because it's not capable of even running zemu which is an original xbox emulator it works perfectly fine on the box 64 droid the reason why i wanted to test out all these emulators on win later is because of the features like input controls already provided uh, in this emulator which makes the emulation way more easier i am guessing that only pc games should be playable on this emulator let me know in the comment section down below if I should test out GTFI on WinLater in my next video. See you guys next time. Peace out.